Hello everybody, it's Multiglitch123 here and I'm bringing a different video to what I'd normally bring out. This is how to install any emulator or install the ROMs for the emulators that you want to get. So today I'm going to show you how to install the Nintendo DS because I found out it's the easiest. So you go to this site there called ROMHustlers.net. I will leave that in the description so you can quickly click on site and start typing it all in. Go and click emulators if you're like, new to downloading one. And you pick which one you want. So for today, we're going to be doing the Nintendo, well, the Nintendo DS emulator. So we we'll click on that. Then it'll take us to this. We scroll down a little bit. Then download this. Oh, go away. Download this one. D Smu M E. So you just click on that. Scroll down a little bit. What? Oh, is that even? Or I think I'm thinking too far ahead here. So yep, it'll download there. It doesn't take long at all, smallest file ever. Mario Bros, download that before. So when you've got that, you just open it, like so. I think I just opened two. Yes, I did. Right, I've already got it on my desktop there, so all you got to do, like that, it'll turn out like that once you've played on it. You want to get, create a new file. Just, I, I put DS emulator on mine. Then just extract it to, it, this works on WinRAR and 7-zip just so you know, extract it to your file that you, that you want to put it in, then when you go to that, you should get that, that just that, I think it should just be called that when you get it, like mine didn't change I don't think, so you just run this, like so, you can close that now, you don't need that, it'll take you to something like this, first of all you want to go to your control config, you have to set out all your controls and it's all weird and funky. And then ones I, I've decided not to use because I just don't see the point in it. So I've changed mine to W, S, A, and D to move up, down, left, and right. It's your basics. B, X, Y, and A. Uh, they're my arrow keys. Lid. I have no idea what lid is, so I just left it disabled. Start is enter. Select is shift. Wait, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be right shift. Oh well. The L button is Q, the right button is E, that's how I set mine out, then just click OK. And then to run a game, you need to go and download one first. So, for now, we'll just close that down. Open up our browser, and close that now. Right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go back. Oop, that was accidental. We go back again. So it takes, until we go back to this. Then, from here, we can search ROMs. So, like, I don't know what, uh, uh what, what game should we download. Yeah, well, anyway, like, there's all your stuff that you can download, like, for, like, your console, so I've just chosen Nintendo DS, and I'm pretty sure, oh, no, you don't search, it don't search, so let's just pick a random letter, D. There we go, and we'll search. Oh, for a sake. How awkward. Alright, let's just do this instead. Um, go down here. If you don't know what games you want to download, just go and where where is it? In fact, you need to click on ROMs first. What am I thinking? It comes. It's giving you the best, like the most top-rated games that have been downloaded. Metal Gear Solid, absolutely stunning game. Enough said. <laughs> ah, I know a game we can download. We can download Zelda. I want to play that as well. So let's go and find Nintendo DS. Then let's type in Zelda. See what comes up. Legend of Zelda. Um, usually the ones with the most like you want to look for the ratings. Like the one that's got the highest ratings, the best. Like, but since there's only oh, there's two Phantom Hourglass as well. We'll get that one then. So we go to download this. It's simple from then on. Click here to download this ROM. You click just anywhere on that bar, and then you, you wait a couple of seconds till you get your link. Just give it a few seconds and bingo. Right, click where here. Right, you have to literally click where it says click here. Oh, I've got to take. Sometimes it does this because it's weird, but you just gotta click on it like two or three times. Hopefully, this doesn't start messing up. If I sound a bit bunged up, it's because I've got a cold and a cough and I've been sneezing like 50 billion times in the past week. Well, for that, the past week, the past day or two. Right, there we go, Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass, the really small files, so we'll just, we'll give that the two minutes it needs. Well, 
this is going to be a boring two minutes. So um, I'll put an annotation so you can skip to it. Oh, I'll try to anyway. I'm not very good at changing stuff. Let's see what I can do. But yeah, the really small files. My download speed's just sucky. That's what you get for using Sky. It's a uh, BT. We did have Total, but then we just changed because Total was sucky as well. Almost halfway there. It's not going to take that long, but yeah, you can pretty much just find anything you want on this. Like you can download any emulators, like all these are just grey. I'm, I'm planning on downloading, like, a, uh, wait, what, it was the thingy. Where's the GameCube on this? It says up there. Or is that just to find ROMs for it? Game Gear, Game Boy, Colors, GBA. It's probably so noticeable, but I'm just being silly. PC Engine emulators. Whoa, that looks, that looks a bit funky. Yeah, I'm, I'll figure that out one day. 34 seconds left, 30, around about 30 seconds left now, that's pretty good. Right, so tomorrow I shall be bringing another tutorial on how to bring out the PS1 version of the emulator. It's a little bit different, you've got to download some textures, so I'll make sure to get the download link. <coughs> Sorry, voice went. Make sure to get a download link for those textures as well, so... Yep, you'll be able to play the good old days of the PS1. Like there, look, as you can see, I've got like Gran Turismo, Metal Gear Solid, Abe's Odyssey, what a classic. That is Siphon Filler, also an amazing game, and Spyro, oh wow. Just, just Spyro, that's enough said. Right, there we go, we've got the file. Now we'll open that, close this down, and let's minimize it. And there's the file, like literally, just go into there, and then you won't have these four files, so I'll just show you what to do. Go into your emula em 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 emulator, go into open ROM, it'll take you to the ROM file that you will not have in your DS emulator file until you've run, run an actual emulator. So just literally get your, get your game, drag it into there, wait for all this to transfer over. Then once you've got it on there like that, click it, open file, and that'll start loading it. There you go. Stick it on a bit of full screen. Jesus! That was loud. Wow. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't prepared for that. I had my headset fully turned up. There you go. T right, the touch screen. You just click. It's kind of basic. File has been created. There you go. Look, perfectly playable. Yup, yup, with that guy. Right, anyway. I'm going to sneeze. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, there we go. But yep, that is how to download your emulators. I'll make sure to leave this in the description. If this video helped you, please leave it a like or leave a comment, whichever. But And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It'll help a lot in the future when my channel eventually, like, blows up a little. But anyway, it's been Multi Virtual 123 and I'll speak to you all later. Bye-bye.